everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my winter seasonal rack polish picks. This rack, I don't know how many polishes it holds, but as you can see, there is quite a few on here. Generally, I don't make it through every single polish on my seasonal racks, but with it being smaller, I feel like I have a better handle on things. And I have thought about switching up to a larger rack that I have for some of my excess polishes, but then I thought it's going to be too overwhelming for me to try to get through in one season. So I much prefer the small rack. I got this off of Amazon, I think. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. So as you can see here, I've got everything neatly organized in like rainbow order as best I could. So let's go ahead and get started with what I have. So the first one here is this one from ILNP. So the first one here is this one from ILNP. This is Riddle Me This. I did have this one on my fall rack but did not get a chance to wear it so I brought it over to my winter rack. It is a beautiful green polish that has a little bit of a purple to blue shift in it. Then I have this polish from Nail Hoot. This is in the color Emerald. It is my birthstone polish. Have not worn this one yet. Had intentions for wearing it in May, but that didn't happen. This is like a deep green with holographic shimmers in here. Next one is a new one to my collection. This was a recent purchase from Polish Pickup. It is Polish for Days Noble Fur. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, flaky polish. Perfect for the holiday season. I saw this one, knew I needed to pick it up. We have Rogue Lacquers Spearmint Forest. This was part of their holiday advent set that I recently got. It is another gorgeous polish for the holidays. Cult favorite that I have yet to actually wear. This is Essie's Off Tropic. This is one I see so many people raving about. I did recently use it for some swatching that I had to do for another video that I'm getting ready to share with you guys. This is a beauty, so I definitely had to pick this one. Then I have a new polish to me. This is by Cupcake Polish, and this is called... Hot Girl Fall. It is a like emerald green linear hollow. I have this polish from Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. This one is in Under the Tree. This was a clearance find at Rite Aid. I paid um, $2 for it maybe earlier in the year. Thought it was going to be pretty for this season. I have this one from China Glaze. This is the perfect holiday. It is a deep green shimmer polish. I'm not sure if this one dries matte or not. I haven't used it. haven't even swatched it. Um, some of their polishes that are like this do have a matte finish to them. So I'm not sure if you know. Let me know in the comments. Then another new to me polish, I may use this one, I may not, I'm not sure if it's actually Christmassy or not, but I was feeling the need to pull this one. This is Ethereal Lacquer The Pickle, this was from November Polish Pickup, had to get this one, it just looked too pretty to leave behind. Another new polish, and I just recently shared this one with you guys, I think you may be seeing that video here in the next week or so. This is a new polish from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is, there's a little matter of murder to attend to from their Kingdom of the Wicked collection. Another gorgeous polish. I have Bluebird Lacquer. Rock of Sages. This was polish pickup for May. Have not worn this one yet. Then I decided to put a black polish on here just to have in case I decide to do nail art or anything along those lines and I had to go with Essie's Licorice. It is a basic black cream, very nice formula. 
then we're getting into our blues so the next one I have this was also on my fall rack this is nail hoots September this is a beautiful like royal blue with some scattered holographic glitter in there I have this polish from China glaze this is an old one this is called Grover it part of their Sesame Street collection a few years ago. This was the only polish I have been able to find. So I went ahead and pulled that one. A blue holographic. This is OPI's LED marquee from their celebration collection for the holidays last year. I have one from Zoya. This is one that I got in a D-stash. Have not worn this one yet. It is called Dreamer. It is a beautiful blue with scattered holographic glitters in here. I'm excited to try that one. Another new to me polish. This is by Linby Designs. This is from her Halloween collection. This is called 100% That Witch. I saw swatches of this on her Facebook group and knew that I needed to pull this one, so I'm excited to wear that one. We have another one from Bluebird Lacquer. This is Indigo Go Dancer. It is a, another fun, beautiful blue polish with a blue shifty shimmer in it. I have a couple icy blues. These are from Rogue Lacquer. These are from their new release. This is part of her Winter Prisms collection. This one is called Fire and Ice. This is from the same collection by Rogue. This is called Snow Business. Another beautiful polish. It's just perfect for the winter. Once the snow gets here, this is just going to go perfectly. Now I'm moving into my reds and burgundies, and I have quite a few. I just couldn't decide. So the first one here is Cuticula's. Never Sleep Again. This is from September 2022 Polish Pickup. This was another gorgeous one that I just couldn't pass on. Excited to pull that out. We have this new one, which is a Polish Pickup find. This is by Wildflower Lacquer, and it is perhaps a Christmas gourd. I have a couple from Morgan Taylor and my reason behind some of these was to copy a manicure from Diana here on YouTube. Some Call Me Coco is her YouTube name. I'll put info down below. She did a similar video or manicure with polishes similar to this. So I plan to try to do that. That is what these are on here for. So I have Morgan Taylor's Good Gossip. You guys have seen swatches of this one before. It is a beautiful shimmer packed polish. And then I'm going to pair that with this one from Morgan Taylor called Rare as Rubies. It is a chunkier glitter polish that Diana used over top of a shimmery red. Hers was Sally Hansen or something. I'll try to do a video on that here down the road, so stay tuned for that one. But that is the plan for both of these. Not sure how it's going to work out, but I figured I'm going to try it anyway. I went with a basic red. This one is called Red Flare from Orly. Got this at TJ Maxx. It is just a deeper red cream. Thought that would be perfect for a basic red polish. I don't have a huge amount of basic reds, honestly. I had to kind of go through and pick and choose what I could use. So I found I didn't have a huge amount. So there is this one from Sassy Sauce. This is Vixen. It is a beautiful red shimmer. One from Revlon. I got this on clearance. I have been wanting this polish for a while. And this is called... Uh, what are you? Here we go. This is called Saucy. It is a beautiful red polish with gold shimmer. I have another one from Cupcake Polish. This is another holographic one from them. This is Appley Ever After. It is another gorgeous polish. It's got some gold shimmer in there as well. 
another rogue one this is one that was on my fall rack and did get a chance to use it this is breakfast wine it's a beautiful magenta flaky one from zoya this is one i just recently picked up this is called actually no this is not one i picked up this is one i have actually had this is called blair This polish I think was on my fall rack too and I didn't use it so I left it on here. This is by LA Colors and this one is called Ruby. This is one, it was one of my favorites. It doubles as a stamping polish also. They are rather inexpensive. I think they're $1.98 or something along those lines. A really, really nice polish. I have one from ILNP. This was a newer one to me. This is called charmed and it is a holographic polish i thought it was like a gray or something i'm not sure what i thought this was it happens to be like a light mauvey purple i think but it's on here i have one from bees knees lacquer this is from their what we do in the shadows three collection this is called guess what Then I needed to pick a basic white cream for the holidays. This is KB Shimmer's White Here, White Now. I've talked to you guys before about this. This is one of my favorite white creams. It is beautifully opaque in two coats. No issues whatsoever. If you do not have this and you're looking for a white cream, I recommend this. It is a little bit more expensive. It's not a drugstore brand by any means, but it is definitely one of my absolute favorites. The next polish is actually what I have on my nails right now. This one is from Polished for Days in the North Pole. It is a white curly polish with red and silver larger glitters, and then there's red and silver micro glitters in there as well. I also think there's some like silver, silver shimmer in here. I didn't see that in their description when I googled it, but I feel like when I have it on, it looks like there is a little bit in there. So that is what I currently have on right now. That one, it was good. It was not one of my favorites. I don't know why I think I'm going to like white curlies because I'm never a huge fan of them. So I need to quit buying them. But anyway, this is another one from Rogue Lacquer that I recently picked up. This is called the Christmas Curly. It is another white curly polish with loads of glitters and flakies. This is beautiful. Again, another white curly. I like them, like what I currently have on. I like it. I just, I'm not sure what I'm expecting them to be. They're not as wowing as I thought they would be. Maybe when I have a darker skin tone over the summer, maybe they'll actually look better. I have one from ILNP, and this probably does not go for a Christmas manicure, but this is in Sundress. It is a pale yellow polish with blue flakes in here. I just had to pull it. I thought it looks pretty. I could pair it with something else as like an accent nail, so I thought let's just pull it, get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Let's try this one. I have another one from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is from a recent polish pickup. This is in Perta. I think you guys would have seen that video already. This is a beauty. So pretty. Wanted a basic gold polish. And this is, I think, the only one that I own. This is kind of like a metallic gold. This is High Standards from China Glaze. Again, another beautiful polish. I'm not one for very bright golds. So this metallic gold that is toned down is perfect. I absolutely love this one. I don't know if you can get this anymore. I will try to link it below. And I'm getting into toppers. So I have, this one's not really a topper. Um, it's more of a fully opaque polish. This is from China Glaze in Ice and Bubbles. It was part of their holiday collection last year. It's pretty. It is like a three coater. Um, I haven't tried doing a topper type thing with it because it is densely packed. 
so I plan to just use it as an accent nail for now. And one that I have not worn yet, this is also by China Glaze. Got this clearance out at Rite Aid earlier in the year. This is called Counting Carrots, and it is a really pretty larger sized glitter packed polish. Really fun. I'm excited to wear that one. So then I have this one. I needed a silver, so I went with a metallic silver from Essie. This one is called No Place Like Chrome. I have not used this one yet, so I'm excited to try this out there. Silvers are actually beautiful. I know last year I wore one from Morgan Taylor. Loved it, but I didn't want to pull that one for this year. I wanted to try to try something different. I have this little mini here. I don't know if I'll use it or not. This is OPI's... Um, it's something pearl, and I can't think of the name of this one, and I apologize. I'll try to put it here on the screen. It is just a pearl finish polish, so I thought I'd try that one. Then I got a couple toppers here from LA Colors. There's this one in, let's see, Crimson Shine. It is a red glitter topper with larger silver holographic. Um, I think they're hexes maybe, if I recall correctly. Not one of my favorites, but I thought it is pretty on the nail with a darker base. This is beautiful. This does not get opaque on its own. It will be as a topper. The next one here is this one called Firecracker. I tried putting this over a white and found out that the base color of this had been tinted like a red berry tone so it will not work over white. It does work beautifully over black however. Um, it is just the base is color, not clear like I thought it was so I'll pair it over a black polish or even a similar red polish. have this one from Pinnacle Polish. This is called Truth. This is her black and white glitter topper. have not wore this one yet. I bought this specifically to have. It is more densely packed than I had thought it was going to be, so when I use it, I will just do like a dry brush technique like I do with some of my rogue toppers. And I have this one from Indie by Patty Lopes. This is Vein Barber from August 2022 Hella Handmade. This is a red and blue glitter and flaky polish in a clear base with silver reflective glitter. I have this new one from Rogue Lacquer. This is called Mary Sprinkle Mist. This was part of the advent set that she had. This is beautiful. It is a glitter and flaky balm, but it works beautifully as a topper. Another one from Rogue. This is Holly and Bright, and it is another glitter-packed topper. This is beautiful. You guys have already seen the video and the swatches for these. If you haven't, I will list those down below or up in the cards. Another beautiful polish. This one is no surprise. You guys have seen this before. This is New Colors 964. This is available at Dollar Tree. It is a beautiful green glitter topper in a clear base. Looks like there's gold in here, but actually it's just the color shifting at glitters that they have in here. If you guys can find this, pick it up. I need to try to find a backup because this is one of my favorites to pair over a black. Looks beautiful even over white. Um, I usually use it over like a lighter green. As you guys have seen if you've been following me or watching me for a while, this is a, another gorgeous polish that if you see it, don't hesitate to pick it up. I have not been able to find it lately and that's disappointing. A couple more from Rogue. There is this polish in Sunshine, Daisies, and Butter buttermellow. This is a gold flaky topper. Again, Rogue Lacquer's polishes are densely packed, so when I use these, I tend to brush off as much polish as I can and go in kind of dry brush type technique because they are so dense a little bit. A lot of polish comes out all at once, and for me, that kind of ruins my manicure. So if you have these, just keep in mind they are very densely packed. There is this one, and this is the last one I have on my rack. This is called Apparition from Rogue Lacquer. This is a holographic flaky topper. Beautiful polish. This is also a new one 
definitely had to pull it for the holiday season. All right, guys, that is everything that I have for my holiday rack. Keep in mind, I do sometimes pull other polishes off of my out of my collection if I want to pair it with something that's on here. I don't solely just use these exclusively. I do try to, um, but it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes I need something else, and I pair it pair one of these with something else. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have your winter racks ready, if you're working on those. I'm excited to get started with these. It's just a beautiful time of year to pull out so many fun and festive manicures. I have lots of stamping in mind. I have lots of nail art I want to do. So yeah, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and we'll see you next time.